Hi everybody, I'm Tony Carr, if you haven't met me, I'm Manager and Director of Leading Lives. And during the uh, crisis period we've been working through over the last couple of three weeks, I've been sending you regular updates by email, but I want to send you this personal message. Apologies if uh, I read from a script, which is a little bit wooden, but I want to make sure I get all the messages across to you. So. We're entering the third week of our lockdown and we're approaching the Easter weekend. I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for your monumental efforts in helping Leading Lives to continue to provide support to our customers in this unprecedented and challenging time. We fully appreciate the many pressures on you, taking care of yourselves and your families, working in new ways and some of you in new services and ensuring that you yourselves are protected as well as ensuring the very best for our customers. We're all on a very steep learning curve with new advice and developments daily, new technology to get to grips with and I've been video conferencing with director team, with board, with all of our operation managers on a, on a weekly and daily basis. So we're having to work differently, not just getting to grips with new technology, but also negotiating and practicing different ways of working. We're having to deal with social distancing, which in itself is a massive challenge. We're continually taking advice to ensure that we support you the best we can so you can support others. Your teamwork, flexibility, and above all, caring qualities have shone in a time of crisis. And it's been great to hear so many stories come back of staff continuing to go above and beyond. We really appreciate this as to our customers and their families, especially the regular contact that they are receiving, so important to all at this point in time. We don't know how long this will go on for, but we are monitoring the situation daily, taking advice and acting accordingly. It does feel like a long haul and as individuals we will have up and down days but we're a strong team and we can support each other and get through this together. So there's my message to you but anyway I thought perhaps let's just have a quick look around what's happening at head office. This is my office. For those of you who've been here this is our, our sofa area and library where we have meetings. Um, most of our back office staff, as I've been telling you, are working from home, but some are, are coming in and we're trying to work with that social distance. Um, there we go, we've got Boo Dendy in the boardroom having a telephone conference. And we have an enablement practitioner doing his job by telephone at the moment. We have a few people in finance, mainly because their um, broadband at home wasn't strong enough to deal with the very heavy programs and ICT needs they had. So they work in a combination from home and the office. Come and say hello. So some of you might have met Elena before. Elena, hi. Then we have Nikki and Cyprian, who you've met before in the background. Okay. Nobody in the office there. So I thought we'll just pop downstairs. So for those of you who don't know, head office is based above our northwest or new southwest, sorry, um, hub, community hub, which provide day service. But of course, we haven't got any customers in at the moment. So um, the hub is acting as a sort of uh, coordinating point for operations in southeast uh, Suffolk area. As you can see, it's energy. And a little bit spooky and quiet. <laughs> I don't know if anyone about at all. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. So we're just doing a quick video tour. Could you just see what you're doing? Sorry. Um, I'm in the garden sorting out the fences and doing most of the weeding and cutting the grass and just tidying up generally. And looking after the building while it's empty, yeah? That's it. Great. Thank you. You're Thank on. you. We've got Donna on reception. Yeah. Have a hair, Donna. Keep 
There's no flowers burning. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone okay? Hope you are. <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> and we've got Ros. Oh, hello. Hello, Ros. <laughs> You're all right? Yeah. Good, good, good. So what are you doing, Ros? Uh, well, just coordinating the staff team uh, to be working around other services in the southeast. Great. And working with the other team managers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And on a massive building like this, I think we may have one or two others in. We might have a couple of people from the enablement team, the James Key, possibly. Yeah, I can hear James' dulcet tones in the corner. <laughs> But also, how are you going to make sure that that works? There we go. Um, Busy coordinating services in <laughs> South East locality. Hi, we're just doing a quick video talk. Hello. Okay. Hello. Nice. Hello. How are you finding working in social isolation? Really, really difficult, but good. Good, good stuff. And I think everybody's adhering to it really well. And I think it's being positively embraced by the staff team. So, staff encouraging. Well. Staff responding? Very much so, very much so. Thank you very much for your support as well, Tony. <laughs> okay, okay. Get that in there quick. <laughs> and anyone? They've got anyone else in yes, here? Mm. There we are, another empty office. So, there you go, that's headquarters. A few of us keeping working here in a time of crisis, but most people working from home as we should be, and we're trying to. Uh, limit our movement as is the direction directive from central government so thank you very much keep it going